So this is going to be the new media that we'll, we will be receiving from a wound culture or a sterile source. When you receive it from the surgical department, it's going to come to you like this. Like this, and this is what it'll look like. Of course, it's going to be labeled. There's going to be a swab and media, and it's a little bit fatter swab than the other e swabs that we have. It has a white cap. You're going to follow your work card like you normally would um, by your plates and if you need a gram stain. So, we are going to do a gram stain, do aerobes and anaerobes off of this e swab. I'm going to place my plates, the sample, and the gram stain under the hood, and I'm going to lay my plates out. You want to make sure that you vortex the e-swab. All e-swabs get vortexed, and then you use the liquid in the media opposed to the swab for culture testing. All of the wound cultures um, sterile cultures, etc. will be used, um, we will use now a individually wrapped sterile pipette opposed to the pipettes that were in the top that we normally would use. And then you're just going to drop a drop of the media on each plate and streak it out like you would do any other culture. And you can throw the rest of it away. I'm just going to make a gram stain, heat fix it, and close up your swab. And then you would just streak your plates like any other culture. And then you would just incubate as normal. And of course, rack your sample into the irretrievable bucket. Pull your gram stain off and treat that like you normally would. One thing that we would like to mention is that even though this is a liquid media, you still want to follow the cytospin um, rules for fluids, bones, bronchlavages, etc. Still follow the chart that we have established because you would not necessarily do a cytospin gram stain off the sample. This is basically your swab, in place of the swabs that we would get in the past. So make sure you follow your chart, and then like I said, incubate as normal, and stain your gram stains as normal. Well.